you know with today's video this is one unique or one special video that i want to i this is can include anyone who wants to see this change who wants a confirmation a reconfirmation in fact from the lord you might have been praying for a marital breakthrough and you felt like in the past the lord has confirmed it to you but then things been delaying and now you sometimes you get to question yourself whether did God really speak or what happened or did God lie to you but you were so sure and in after today's video I tell you that at the end of the day the Lord is going to do something great hallelujah first of all let me just give you an example with the scripture in the book of Genesis chapter 18 where men there were certain men who visited Abraham and those men were angels he even uh, made uh, food for them and after eating, they were like, where is your wife, Sarah? And it was like, um, and then they were like, by this time next year, your wife, Sarah, will be having a son. And that was the promised child that was long promised to Abraham by the Lord God Almighty when he, in the very beginning when he called him. Hallelujah. So let me tell you something when it comes to God's confirmation and fulfillment of his word. Abraham was in a similar situation as yours. In the past, God Almighty himself, he had promised him that he's going to have a child, he's going to have a son, and he's going to multiply his nation. But things delayed. And the delay, let me tell you, to be honest with you, it was not easy even to Abraham. At times, he would kind of ask himself questions. He would feel like doubting a little bit. That's why he even went as far as having a child with her guy to show that he was somewhere somehow doubting and to further confirm this that's why even in chapter 17 when the lord in chapter 17 of genesis when the lord was reassuring to him that he's going to fulfill that promise he at first he thought that god was referring to the child that he, the child ishmael that he was he had with her guy but god re confirmed and affirmed that the child that i'm talking about you're going to have a child with Sarah as I said in the very beginning you're going to have a child with Sarah so God went reconfirmed what he promised him let me tell you that the waiting is not so easy it's hard how you feeling it's normal but today in the name of Jesus Christ I'm praying that the Lord God Almighty will come back again to confirm in the name of Jesus Christ. May he visit somebody tonight in Jesus' mighty name and confirm his way. Or whenever, whatever means that he might use to communicate with you, I won't limit the Lord, but God Almighty. From this point, whoever wants to receive this way, receive it. And God Almighty, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that he comes back to you. Whether it's through another man of God, through a prophet, the true prophet of the Lord, through a pastor or through a friend who is prophetic, who has a prophetic gift, through a dream, the Lord will reconfirm. If it was him who spoke, he will come back to you again and confirm that that person is actually your spouse. You are getting married this year. You are getting married in less than a year from now. By this time next year, you will be married. By this time next year, you will be having a ring on your finger. Hallelujah. By this time next year. By this time next year. You will be married. You will be staying in this place. The Lord will come back and confirm unto you. That what he does. Even to Abraham. Let me tell you. It was not easy. But the Lord. There was a time. With that time when it comes. Let me tell you. You won't stop it. Even Abraham, he was just chilling like usual. Then he saw men and fortunately he welcomed them. And he knew what to do at that time because he was still in alignment with the Lord God Almighty. Hence, it was not easy for him to miss out from the promise of the Lord. Let me tell you that a time will come. And now when the Lord revisits you, as he's going to revisit you, this time around... He's going to tell you, he's going to get straight to the point. He's going to get straight to the point and be like, by this time, 
is going to happen it will no longer be a matter of you saying ah okay also i want to take it further and fast i want to take it further and maybe plant a seed or i want to take it further and pray every day so that it did it happens it is time that the lord fulfills what he promised you he, they are coming the angels of the lord are coming to you to confirm your marriage in the name of jesus christ i decree and i declare you are going to rejoice. That marriage of yours, the Lord is reconfirming that marriage. You are getting married in the name of Jesus Christ. If it's a reconciliation that you need, the Lord is going to do so. Whatever the Lord has promised you, let me tell you, His angels, they are coming. He is coming in the name of Jesus Christ. May the angels of the Lord come to you. May they come to visit you and put words in you in the name of Jesus Christ. Angels are still alive in case someone you're wondering in the New Testament whether God speaks only through the Holy Spirit. The, the, do angels still exist? Yes, they do. Don't you remember in the book of Acts when they rescued Peter from a prison? When they came and took him. When an angel came and led them out of the prison. Do you still remember? Hallelujah. Even when Paul was in a ship, when an angel came and told them that they're going to survive those, uh, was it waves when they were at the, in the sea, when they wanted to, to drown inside the water, but then they survived. Hallelujah. It was the angel of the Lord. Angels still do exist in the New Testament. So up to you. It's up to you. Welcome the angel of the Lord God Almighty as they come and reconfirm the word of the Lord upon your life. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Receive this way. The, receive the Lord God Almighty. He is visiting you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There is a turnaround coming to you. Things are turning around. Things are changing. The Lord, the, if the Lord spoke to you, pray with me in this prayer that now that Lord, come back again. Through this video, in the name of Jesus Christ, may you come back again and reconfirm your word and fulfill it in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. Receive this word. Testify in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. And uh, yes, that's the video I had for you today. And please remember to make sure you are a born-again Christian, okay? You have surrendered your life unto the Lord Jesus Christ. If you had backslid, then rededicate your life unto the Lord and re-invite the Holy Spirit to lead you. And if you enjoyed today's video, like it, share it, subscribe as well as hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload new videos like this. And for prayer requests and spiritual advices, DM me on my Instagram or email me. The details are on the description of the video below. And as for me, Ishmael and your priest, I will see you in the next video upload. Take care and stay blessed.